In the realm of classic television, few shows hold a place as warm and cherished as Welcome Back, Cotter. This sitcom not only brought laughter to living rooms, but also introduced us to a tight-knit cast that became part of our extended family. However, as the sands of time sift through the hourglass, we find ourselves pondering the passage of years and the fates of those familiar faces. This video embarks on a journey to illuminate the present, revealing which members of the Welcome Back Cotter cast continue to grace our world with their presence. While we delve into this exploration, we also pay homage to the cherished souls who have bid us farewell, delving into the stories that shaped their exits and the lasting legacies they etched into the tapestry of entertainment history. After all, who is still alive from Welcome Back, Cotter, in 2023. Gabe Kaplan played Gabe Cotter. Gabe Kaplan is known for his multifaceted career in entertainment and sports, began his career as a stand-up comedian, performing in comedy clubs, and gaining recognition for his humor and relatable observations. His comedic style often revolved around his experiences growing up and his interactions with various characters. Kaplan's breakout role came in the sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter, which aired from 1975 to 1979. He portrayed the titular character Gabe Cotter, a high school teacher returning to his alma mater to teach a class of misfits known as the Sweat Hogs. In addition to Welcome Back, Cotter, Gabe Kaplan appeared in various films and television shows. He starred in movies like Fast Break, 1979, and Tulips, 1981. Beyond his entertainment career, Gabe Kaplan has also made a name for himself in the world of professional poker. He has competed in high-stakes poker tournaments and has earned respect among fellow poker players for his skills at the table. John Travolta played Vinny Barbarino. John Travolta is known for his versatile talents and impactful contributions to the entertainment industry. Travolta's career began in the 1970s when he gained attention for his role as Vinny Barbarino on the TV show Welcome Back, Cotter. Travolta faced challenges in the 1980s as some of his films received mixed reviews. However, he experienced a career resurgence in the 1990s with his role as Vincent Vega in Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, 1994. The film earned him an Academy Award nomination and revitalized his career. John Travolta's personal life has garnered media attention. He is a licensed pilot with a passion for aviation, and he owns several aircraft. He is also known for his philanthropic efforts and involvement in various charitable causes. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs played Freddie Boom Boom Washington. Hilton Jacobs grew up in a creative environment and attended the High School of Art and Design in New York City. His passion for the arts led him to pursue acting and other artistic endeavors. One of Hilton Jacobs' most recognizable roles came in the sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter, which aired from 1975 to 1979. He portrayed Freddie Boom Boom Washington, a member of the Sweat Hogs, a group of high school students. His charismatic and comedic performance endeared him to audiences. Hilton Jacobs gained attention for his roles in several notable films, including Claudine, 1974, and Cooley High, 1975. He continued to make appearances in various television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. In addition to his acting pursuits, Hilton Jacobs pursued a career in music. He released albums and singles, displaying his musical talents as a singer. His music showcased a blend of R&B and soul influences. Stephen Shortridge played Bo Delabar. Stephen Shortridge began his career in the entertainment industry as an actor in the 1980s. He appeared in various films and television shows, including notable roles in TV series such as The Love Boat and the film Hot Chili, 1985. While achieving success in acting, Shortridge's passion for art led him to transition into a career as a visual artist. He focused on painting and developed a distinct style characterized by vibrant colors and emotive brushwork. His artwork often captures the beauty of nature, landscapes, and serene scenes. In addition to his talents in acting and painting, Stephen Shortridge is also an author. He has penned books that delve into his personal experiences, creative journey, and reflections on life. His writing offers insights into his artistic process and the ways in which he intertwines his various passions. Helene Lembeck played Judy Borden. Helene Lembeck is an American actress known for her contributions to film and television, particularly during the 1950s and 1960s. Helene Lembeck began her acting career in the 1950s. She appeared in a range of television shows and films, often taking on supporting roles that showcased her acting abilities. Lembeck's filmography includes appearances in movies such as Hot Rod Girl, 
1956, and Beach Blanket Bingo, 1965, a film part of the popular beach party film genre of the era. She also made guest appearances on TV shows like The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, The Donna Reed Show, and Dr. Kildare. While her career might not have reached the same level of recognition as some of her contemporaries, Helene Lembeck remains a part of the entertainment landscape of the mid-20th century, contributing her talents to various projects and leaving her mark on the era's pop culture. How each welcome back Cotter cast member died? Ron Palillo played Arnold Horshack. Ron Palillo passed away from a heart attack on August 14, 2012, at the age of 63. He pursued acting from a young age, attending the University of Connecticut and later the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. His breakout role came in the late 1970s, when he was cast as Arnold Horshack on Welcome Back, Cotter, a role that brought him widespread recognition and popularity. Polito's portrayal of Arnold Horshack, a comedic and endearing high school student, endeared him to audiences. His enthusiastic catchphrase, Ooh, ooh, Mr. Cotter, became a signature of the show. His performance showcased his comedic timing and ability to connect with viewers. After his acting career, Ron Palillo transitioned into teaching. He became an educator, teaching acting and other subjects at various schools. He was known for his dedication to teaching and for inspiring his students. Marcia Strassman played Julie Cotter. Marcia Strassman passed away on October 24, 2014. She died at the age of 66. Her death was attributed to metastatic breast cancer, a disease she had been battling for several years. Marcia Strassman began her acting career at a young age. She appeared in various television shows and commercials before making her way into film and more prominent roles. One of Strassman's most recognized roles was that of Julie Cotter, the wife of the title character, in the sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter. Her role on the show, which aired from 1975 to 1979, contributed to her visibility and popularity. In addition to television, Strassman appeared in films such as Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, 1989, and its sequel, Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, 1992. She also had a music career, releasing albums and singles that showcased her singing talents. John Sylvester White played Mr. Michael Woodman. John Sylvester White passed away from pancreatic cancer on September 11, 1988. He died at the age of 68. John Sylvester White began his career in theater, performing in various stage productions. White gained recognition for his appearances on television. He appeared in a variety of TV shows, often taking on guest roles in popular series of the time. One of White's most iconic roles came in the form of Mr. Michael Woodman, the principal, on the sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter. He portrayed the stern but well-intentioned principal of the high school where the show's main characters attended. His interactions with the Sweat Hogs, a group of students, added humor and depth to the show. In addition to his television work, John Sylvester White appeared in films such as The Restless Years, 1958, and Protect and Surf, 1979. His filmography showcased his ability to transition between different roles and genres. Robert Hegyes played Juan Epstein. Robert Hegyes passed away on January 26, 2012, at the age of 60. The cause of Robert Hegyes's death was a heart attack. He had been experiencing chest pains at his home in New Jersey and was taken to the hospital where he unfortunately passed away. Robert Hegyes's interest in acting was ignited at an early age. He pursued his passion by studying theater at Glassboro State College, now Rowan University. He later attended Ryder College, now Ryder University, where he continued to hone his acting skills. Hegyes gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Juan Luis Pedro Filippo de Huevos Epstein, one of the sweat hogs, on the sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter. The show aired from 1975 to 1979, and his character became a fan favorite for his humorous antics and memorable catchphrases. Memorable ca Aside from his role on Welcome Back, Cotter, Hegyas appeared in various television shows and films. He made guest appearances on series like Cagney and Lacey and The Drew Carey Show. He also had roles in films such as Alligator, 1980, and The Jerky Boys, The Movie, 1995. Hegyas was not only an actor, but also a writer and director. He worked on projects that allowed him to explore different facets of his creativity. We love the cast of Welcome Back, Cotter, so much. Thanks for your memories and goodbye.